As I'm looking at those cards, I think that there is something missing in here. But what can it be? Oh my god, I think I got a glimpse or a vision. If only I could have it again a little bit slower this time. Are those... are those the card highlights? Is this the thing that I'm missing? You know what? I guess this is the problem. Let's make a quick look in here. So the thing that you can see in here is side-by-side -side comparison of cards with a highlight and without them. And right now I can tell you that for my game it is a must-have feature. Because, as you are looking on the left side, the problem is that the player wasn't paying attention to his hand or shop. And as you may already know or don't, I'm a solo developer. And all of my resources, which is time, are sparse because I work a full-time job. So I thought to myself that changing the card highlight color would be a great way and also a cheap one to indicate a current status of a card. As you may already notice, the cards in a hand are green, but as soon as I will play them, they will change their color into yellow. However, this effect does not apply to the creatures. It is because I cloned the mechanism from other card games that whenever a creature enters the board the same turn, it can't attack. I allowed to skip the time till the next turn. And as you can see, all of the creatures are now highlighted in yellow color. And that is because they can attack and can be interacted with. And here is a one more thing that I think is looking quite nice. After the attack you can see that the highlight is slowly fading away. And the last one thing about the card's highlights are cards in a shop. You can see that the cards that player can buy are highlighted in blue, but as soon as he can't acquire them anymore they are turning into red. And here you can see a transition of color on a big card, from blue to red. To achieve those transition and effects I did use shader graph, do twin and scriptable objects as for database. And to be honest as I noticed the parts that you are skipping the most on my movies are code, shader and other of those stuff. And I want to strike a deal with you. If there would be at least two comments saying shader graph I will create a special video on how to make those things. Other way I would just proceed with my shadow. So now to the conclusions. Car highlight are a great way to indicate to apply what he can do or he cannot do in the game. I hope the addition of those will help the players who see the game for the first time and put more of their attention to the hand and shop. I'm getting slowly to the end of this video. So what comes next we are trying to have a big update on shop UI and we'll try to create a background for it and solve a problem when there is too many cards in a shop. The development of this game is kind of slow but the most important thing for me is that it's getting forward. And with those words of hope I will leave you guys for now. So see ya and boy!